Good morning YouTube, how the devil are you? It's Sunday morning and it's 10 to 8 and would you believe it I've been sat here for about well I don't know if I've been sat there long like I just fucking woke up and it stayed me no I was about half five this morning this has got up got to work I know it's like when you wake up then you're struggling to get back to sleep little knobhead pup downstairs grizzling and yes, I thought about it, I'll get up. Now so I won't be surprised if you do hear a bit of grizzling. It's that no bad pup downstairs. But anyway, as you've seen in the title, this is a top ten master system games video. And this is now for 2024. As we all know, top tens can change all the time. The my top five will never change i don't think i'd be very surprised if that ever changed the other five will always be like six to ten and will always be in the mix but yeah i grabbed i was gonna go games on the side there i got i got the nine quite easy i'd say quite easy that, that was hard but i have been literally sat there now i'm just going through all my games thinking how can i leave that out how can i leave that out and basically, I decided on the games I've played most, I'd say this year. Yeah, in the last year. Like I said, obviously, top five is nailed on. But uh, yeah, I got a bit of a spot playing in the background there. That is the first game I ever bought based purely on box art. And <laughs> I won't go into the story. I'll keep that for another one. I think I've already said it before anyway. But yeah, so that's why I thought I'd chuck that on in the background. I've got three honourable mentions. I could have done about 33, but yeah, three honourable mentions. Anyway, um, sorry, a little bit snotty at the moment. Okay. Yeah, it's a VR to dodgy D-pad. Obviously, it'll be tagged in this video, and I'll put a link in the description to his channel. I come across his channel yesterday. I was just there doing a couple of hours overtime before I went a park run. And I think I just put in like top 10 mass system games. I do that every now and again. Or like my favourite mass system games and just go through and have a look. Like videos I haven't seen. And that one come up and I thought, oh, alright. And they played nice guy. Um, Well, seems a nice guy anyway. <laughs> obviously, no one really knows anyone on YouTube unless you've met them and all that in person, obviously. And yeah, so if you link to his channel description. And... Yeah, we were just talking in the things. He said, I said about, uh, obviously everyone knows my number one game. I said, I'll ask my number one. He said, I'll be good to see you. And I'm like, yeah, what's your other ones? I said, oh, I'll do a VR. Because I've been planning to do this video for a good while anyway. It was going to be top 20. But I thought, oh, no, that might go on a little bit too long. But yeah, anyway, go and check a channel out. Absolutely brilliant. Um, Some really good memories. And I love channels. Now we'll talk about like the memories and all that. And yeah, some of the stories he says about his nan is his quality, fair play, really, really class. Reminds me a little bit of my nan, actually. <laughs> Though uh, our nans, like certain people around that age, just didn't take any shit at all. Yeah, class. <laughs> so yeah, right, so my three honourable mentions. Let me get up on my knees a minute. And with the circulation in my leg, is ah, legs are absolutely sh shocking. So yeah, top three, one really struggled with this one out i recommend this one to everyone who loves shmups and it's so underrated i think and that's submarine attack yeah absolute love this game remember getting that for christmas 1991 i think it is so when yeah i said a story before about me and my mate went said right then all we're gonna ask for christmas is master system games and we did and uh i had a good few master system games and like some other little bits and bobs and he had a master system i think it was about 24 25 games a kx80 mode my god he was a spoiled fucker he was fair play but he was a really he was good as gold him and his parents he was like i was like he's like a brother to me and um my parents were like sec like more pay his parents were like my parents who had it absolutely brilliant it was fair play so yeah that's submarine attack this one not a lot of people like this one 
because of the two buttons right i love this and again got so many memories of getting this that's mortal combat a little bit of uh creasing on the cover there now i can play this with the two buttons i haven't completed this for years and years and years and years but yeah i love this game remember um when i come out obviously i was playing in the arcade and that the amount of times i cut my grand's grass and went down the shop she used to give me a couple of if i went down the shop for her i'd have the change a long times i was back before saying oh do you need anything down the shop and she was like no 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 love i think i saved up a little bit but in the end my because my grand's like my great grand and my my nan end was oh, my mother's mother um and my nan went shopping and she uh she got it for me it's absolutely love and is it as good as a Meg Drive version? No, no. Just the Meg. Is it worth playing? Yeah, definitely. And like I said, the memories are going to attach to this. It's brilliant. Right. This one, I never would have thought. Someone said to me, or said to my, like, eight, the, the 13, 14 year old self, that this game would have a mention in, like, some of your favourite Master System games. I'd call him a fucking liar. They only come across this from the Mass System Challenge. Obviously, the one all used to run. Oh, got the dash going, so I've loads of fun with that, fair play. And it's so addictive, this game. This, at the moment, is probably right up there with game time, apart from Wonder Boy Monsterland. <laughs> yeah, or another one. But yeah, I had to mention this because I absolutely love it. It's so addictive. And our Shanghai. Odds I never would have thought. I would like that. Uh who's that? I think John Bundy as well. Is it John? Yeah, she was John got really really into this. And we was looking for a copy. I think I got lucky with this off CX. It was like ten or eleven pounds. And come complete as well. So yeah. Well happy with that one. So yeah, so that's my free honourable mentions eh I'll pop it on by the other stack of games I got there that uh, could have made the list anyway right top 10 been playing this quite a bit lately if I said super explosive a little touch would blow you up there's probably two games you think of one's a motorbike just hang on which again is one that could have very unlucky not to make the list. This one World Grand Prix. Oh, I love love this and again. Getting this back in the day for Christmas. I remember just sat there for hours playing it and um I think it was pole position. So I remember as a kid you used to go to Porth Court, the go to our caravan all days, didn't we? And I used to sit there at the cab. I used to think it was like a proper racing car. And this, but I seen this on the master stuff, like I said. Remind me so much of pole position. So yeah. I have to have this. Spent many hours on this. Here's a track builder on here. But I haven't really done track builder. I should really uh, have a go at playing that. But yeah. Any little touch on this. and oh, Game over motherfucker. <laughs> and again. Look at that box art. Awesome. Right. Number nine. I used to borrow this off my mate all the time. He used to love it. Um, it's not the first game that I used to stay up late playing as a kid. But it's right up there. And yeah, like I said, obviously you all love the arcade version. And this, this was fantastic. This was one my mate, uh, obviously my mate used to have, like I said, borrowed a lot of him as a kid. He never used to really do a lot of two player on this one don't ask me why then we used to win the arcade all the time because this was in our local one local chip shops back in the day yeah double dragon the fucking on squad loved loved that game and still do love it and like i said one part you said drive me nuts as a kid we got i can't remember his name now we get to a part and got two green ones they solid absolute solid i think you can get a rock 
I think it was a rock in that area. Let me go and hit that whip. Yeah, love Double Dragon. Next one up, one. Never played this as a kid on the Master System. Obviously played the arcade version. But yeah, really love this. Brilliant, brilliant game. And really addictive. Like I said, I think this would be on a lot of people's lists. That's Bubble Bobble. Absolute fantastic game. Love, love the arcade version. Love this version. And not really a lot more say about Bubble Bobble, is it? I think this is quite high up on a list of one of the first arcade games I would have played. Sure it was. Yeah, because that's what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to do... I always say it all the time how lucky I was as a kid growing up when I didn't have Barbard. We basically just like a main street going through. Not a big, it's only a town. But the amount of arcade games we had there, so it was like four. What was this car? Barkers, video shop, mics, and guards. There were six places that had at least one car in it. Like I said, some of them had like two or three. Oh, no, it's only, yeah, what was this car part two? Because I two, yeah, so two at the most in some of them, but yeah, just so many great men. So, I'm gonna do a, a video on that and perhaps play some of the games and talk about them times as well. So, anyway, get back on track. You know, me, I always like a little waffle, so that's bubble bobble. Um, next one up is a game. I think this is the first pre owned game I ever bought from a shop, but not this. Not this version, but uh, back in the day, it's only a couple of pounds. It's from Soft Center. Yeah, Soft Center. Ah, <sighs> love that place. It was in Blackwood, by where I live, and I walk past it now, and I always look at the shop, and I just think, fucking hell, how good was that shop back in the day? And that's where I got Eastwood from, funny enough. And yeah, this. And again, this is right up here with my uh, favourite box art. It's a lucky dime caper. Look at that box art. It's awesome. Yeah, we played this on the Mass System Challenge. And I got the last level. I had loads of lives left. I reckon I would have finished it. And fucking, it crashed. Honestly, couldn't fucking believe it. God, because this, oh, I'll show one by you now, quick, that was unlucky not make the pile. A lot of people will choose as the best Disney game, which again is fantastic. Love that game as well. But for me, just something about this. I'm perhaps because I prefer Donald over Mickey anyway. Yeah. So that's that. What was that? That was number seven. So number six now. Again, another platformer. Again, one I had back in the day. And also I knew of this character back in the day. But never really was into it, and I just got the game. And playing it is fucking awesome. I again bought this back, obviously, for a good few years ago now. And I think it was late on a Saturday night. I went on eBay, and it was just on it. And I think there was one bid on it for a pound. And I just chucked a bid on it, and I won it for one pound four pence. Like I said, it's Asterix. So like I said, one pound four pence, all complete now as well. And it's probably the best one pound four pence I've ever spent. Because the amount of time I've had out of this game is unbelievable. And was he too? Yeah, that part. I love the um, bonus levels. Even though they're really frustrated and they're really good to play. Oh, yeah, I just love. Again, another great box art. Right. Here we go now, top five. Like I said, memories I got of top five is unbelievable. Again, when we talk about great box art, gotta mention this game. Like I said, it was my favourite map on the Mass System. Love, love this game. And everyone else does as well. And I think, again, be in a lot of people's top ten lists. And that's our type. Look at that box art, man. That's fucking awesome, isn't it? I'm just looking, realizing how old I look. Just very tired. Yeah, don't look good for a 21 year old, do I? <laughs> but yeah, this game is fucking fantastic. 
again, I never owned this back in the day, but my mate did. Like I said, I've said the story numerous times that like I had a good few games, my mate had loads of games, a couple of the other boys had a few games, and we just all just used to borrow games off each other. Like I said, and uh, yeah, I think because my mother knew like quite a lot of the games my friends had, I said, I want to get this as well. And she was like, No, you don't have to get that. I said, Morgan got that. You don't have to get that. And I'm like, Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, so many memories playing this. Again, this was one that was in my local chippy. And playing this for the first time just blew me away in the arcade. And then when I seen they got this on a mass system, apart from a little bit of flicker, it's awesome. Like I said, if you haven't played that, you're probably missing out. Is it complete? I got a man. Yeah. Yeah, it is complete. I see when I bought this part, I think I got it from Next Level Games, I think I got this from. Sure I did. Get to that place is gone now. This is from ten years, ten, twelve years. Just put on really great guys here as well. And again, I got another game down my which I got from there as well. Oh, so yeah, I don't want to get it. Yeah, that's that. That's our type. Awesome game. Right, let me get off my knees of a neck. Oh, legs of egg. Oh, getting old now. Oh. Yeah, perhaps I might have told a porcupine when I said 21. I'm sure you believe me anyway, looking at me that uh, before I was 21. Bit of grey and receding and all that going on there. <laughs> anyway, right, next one. Well, the next two actually. I got these when I first had my mass system back in 88 or 89. And yeah, this game. Look at the cover on it and it's fucking shocking. And again, always tell a story with this game. Action fighter. Now for years and years and years and years, I thought that was a magnifying glass. When I found out it was a wing mirror, I didn't believe it. Even though now I know it's a wing mirror, right? I still see that as a magnifying glass. But again, I suppose it makes sense to be a wing mirror because obviously you start off on the motorbike and then obviously you go to the car and the plane. I suppose because you're looking back behind you. But that has got to be right up there with the worst box art ever. But yeah, I love, love this game. Again, the Christmas morning I had it playing there for what the hell is this? And like all the num numbers, we've had letters going past. And I was thinking, what the hell are they? And I wasn't collecting them. And then getting in the back of the Sega truck and getting your them. Um, Power ups like the bullets and that, oh, just brilliant. Like I said, still put a good bit of time in this now. And for anyone who wants a tip, I'll just say Doki underscore pen. Not saying any more. <laughs> no, it's just the cheetah saw for invincibility and all that. Yeah, like I said, love this game. What's the other one's cheats on it? Hang on, I think there's one in there. Say hang on. Hang on is one. Special is another one. I think there's about four or five, I think. Yeah. Anyway, action fighter. That's my number four pick. That, like I said, our type action fighter and these three by will always be my top five. Absolutely love it. Got pins and needles in my feet now. Oh. Right. Number three and number two. Could have been either way. There's probably a fucking fag paper between them as my favourites. I love the two of them. This one I recently completed for the first time ever. Getting all the dolls, the 40 of them. Even though I really only need 36 to get level 10 up. I did get the ones on here as well. I said, oh, I love this game. I really got the angle of the manual for this. Now, I'm not a big manuals don't really bother me but for this one i really want to get it like i said this was i got this with my mass system along with action fighter i also had the hang on card i haven't got a hang on on the card now i've got a hang on on the um, cartridge and say fucking cassette then fucking spectrum and commodore now what the hell am i talking about <laughs> so yeah obviously i said about the dolls you know what this one is 
wonder why uh, anyone who knows me fucking knows how much i love the one boy series absolutely love it and this one was the first one in there again this was in the local cafe i think yeah rose's cafe i'm sure that is and when i was flicking through the the catalog back in 1987 or 88 out of circle stuff so santa wouldn't know what i wanted <laughs> i see this and obviously after playing the arcade game in the thing i looked at that and i thought wonder why i thought oh, that's supposed to down the the coffee and i looked at like the snail and the thing i thought oh, that's got to be it and then if she were did i show the screenshots on the thing i think it might have showed the back of the case like that and I had to really look at it. I thought, oh, that's it. That's it. There's the skateboard up there. And I got it. Obviously, spent many hours that Christmas playing this. And over the years since, definitely, I would say, my most nostalgic game ever. Yeah, definitely. And right up, right up there anyway. This is a game that proper, proper got me into gaming. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. That's number three, and this one I got from Next Level Games. The guy I went in the shop, and the first time I ever went in there, I had like a long lunch from work. I went in there, and I just talking to the guy for hours, and I got on like Wonder Boy how much I loved it, and, I, and he said, "Oh," and I said, oh, "I'm gutted you I haven't got it in yet because I really want to get it." He said, "All right, got got it in the house." He said, "I'll bring it in." He said, "And you can buy that copy." I was like, oh, are you sure? And he said, yeah, no problem. So he brought it in and I bought this off him. So that's his copy. And he was such a nice guy that I'm, uh, I wouldn't get rid of it anyway. But just for, for that, I said, all the nostalgia that I got this in the memories. Plus getting it, the guy who owned the shop, bringing it in for me as well to buy his copy. So yeah, Wonder Boy number three. Number two. Like I said, the fag paper between this and Wonder Boy. This was my original Nate, Nate, late night gaming. We spent a lot of time at my grand's. I eventually went and moved in with my grand. I said, nothing, I got on my mother, fine. But just don't keep my grand with a company and all that. We always stay up here on the weekends. And I would take my mass system up. And add this game with me. And because I used to be in a different room. She'd come in like about one, two o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to yawn it. Like I said, I was only young. But she'd come in. And I'd be saying, like, be sleeping. Or I'd say, like, she'd go, oh, come on now, no, knock her off. We'll have time to go to bed. And I'd be, yeah, no problem. I'd smoke, knock her off now, Gran. And i just turn the volume down. And i just stay, stay up on it. Like I said, I, I could complete this on one life back in the day without dying. Now... I either get to the Mandara, Mandara, the Jump, oh, what's it, is it on 4, 4, 2, I think it is, Jump, is it 4, 2, the level, sure it is, fucking, like, oh yeah, that's just, that's the level with the Jump on up there, it's a nightmare, so I normally, hope if I can get the magic off the bonus, I always call it Squirrel Magic for some reason, but it's like the flying float when you go up, so I always try and get that if I can. But yeah, like I said, love this game, love the arcade game. Again, the arcade game was in local fish shop. So yeah, it's madness. Double Dragon, R Type, Wonder Boy, Shinobi, and my number one was all in it. So it's mad like playing them in here for the first times now and then on a mass and it's still some of my like still some of my favorite games now not just on a mass system on any console <sighs> it wouldn't be a video off me if i didn't yawn would it and if i can bore myself look yeah so shinobi fucking love this game like i said and i think that artwork is cool as fuck right Number one now is obviously don't need any introduction and anyone who knows me knows this wonder boy in Monsterland. I effing love this game. Like I said I play through this once a month without without fail. 
absolute lover. God, but sorry, it's naughty. Yeah, I went to the beach yesterday, down in Ogmore, down in Flowers with uh, my daughter, her friend, the in-laws and the dogs. Took them down and no recycling is so hot now because of the breeze. Yeah, I'm not sure I might have to catch some a little bit. Did put some after some when I come home last night. I worry about my skin now, so you don't want to get wrinkled. <laughs> yeah, Wonder Boy in Monsterland. Love this game. So many memories. Like being in the local chippy, playing this, and then like one of the boys finding like a secret. I remember, oh, who was it? I think it might have been Stuart. Found the, oh, the gorilla, one of the first apes. And we got the sword off him. Yeah, find that. And he was like, what the hell? Who found that? And he said, oh, I don't know. He said, I just like pressed up there. And there was a door there. He said, I didn't even know. And then trying to always remember where it was. Now, I think, I, I think I'm pretty good on you, knowing where hidden stuff is. But I bet even now there's probably stuff in you, like hidden coins or something, or a hidden heart that I don't know. And I've played this so many times and played it through. And there's probably still stuff in there that I'm not sure where it is. Yeah. Wonder Boy and Monsterland. Absolutely love, love, love that game. Again, I didn't actually own that. My mate owned that. Back there, but I used to borrow off him all the time. And no. That's playing on my modded Wii up there. That's the mod with this SD card or so. I've got the game down there. But when I first found out about the the Wii store and stuff like that, my mate told me about it. He said, um, he said, oh, if I recommend you or something, you've got like 500 points. I said, all right, so done it. I had 500 points. When I was looking through the thing, that was on it. And that was the first game I ever bought digitally. Yeah. Yeah, it would be, yeah. That's the first game I have, like, downloaded or anything. Like, from, like, a store. Online store now. It was Wonder Boy Monsterland. So, yeah. I said, love that game. Quite tempted to have a cup of tea now with a toast. I'll have a bash on it. Might have to take that little knobhead dog out first, though. <laughs> anyway, just watching, guys. Go and check out Dodgy d -Pad. There will be a description. Okay description it will be a link to his channel in the description and it'll be tagged in the headline anyway but yeah great guy love you the memories and stuff like that they're my favorite type of videos love them anyway just for watching have a great sunday and i'll catch you in the next one all the best